Hello and welcome to Mole Tops in Fiction. Today I'm reviewing a beer from the Franschhoek Beer Company and it's their Orange Pale Ale or OPA and it clocks in at a fairly impressive 7.4% ABV and 75 IBUs bitterness so this is a pretty strong fairly bitter beer and um, even though it says Orange Pale Ale I think with those numbers this is something in the in the IPA territory even I mean, put, pushing into Imperial IPA to some degree with with that amount of alcohol and, and bitterness. And um, they've used orange peel in the brewing of this beer, um, obviously to give it that um, orangey flavor. So I'm expecting something that's pretty bitter, IPA style, and with a lot of citrus, especially that uh, orange peel note to it. These Franschhoek beers also have a really nice minimalistic uh, label design uh, very simple, very neat looking. Uh, I like the feel of it a lot. I've had one of their other beers uh, called The Stout, and I thought that was a really impressive stout. Uh, enjoyed it very much, and I'll probably review it sometime in the future. In the meantime, you may like to check out uh, the review from Andrew at Beer Bar and Beyond. He did a, a really nice review of that beer, and uh, he also really enjoyed it, so it's definitely a beer worth checking out as well. But now onto this orange pale ale. Uh, let's open it, pour it, and have a look. So it's a nice amber color. It's not particularly clear, a little bit of haze to it. Decent amount of carbonation. Slightly off white head, pretty tightly packed bubbles. I hold it up to the light, a nice golden glow to it. So picking up immediately on the nose, quite a lot of hops, as I would have expected. Uh, tropical fruit notes, certainly that orangey citrus aroma is very present. Some sweet malty notes there. It smells like it's going to be pretty well balanced in terms of malt and hops. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of hops in there, judging by the uh, 75 IBUs of bitterness. It's definitely a very appealing aroma. Let's have a taste now. I can definitely taste that bitterness. Uh, it's certainly the first thing that, that kind of struck me, especially as it's going down as well, that kind of lingering bitterness on the tongue. That sweet maltiness is certainly there. Um, it's pretty well balanced as well. I mean, considering how many bittering units there are in this beer, um, the, the sweetness does hold its own quite nicely. The beer does go down nice and smooth, good mouth feel, kind of a coating on the mouth. I can feel a little bit of alcohol as it goes down there. Not what I'd call a, a sessionable beer necessarily. I'm probably only going to have one of these, but it's a really nice, satisfying drink. That 7.4% ABV, you can definitely feel it, taste it, um, but it's not overpowering, it's very pleasant bit of warmth in the mouth. In terms of ratings, it's definitely very close to a 4. I'll go ahead and say I'll give this a 3.9. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, certainly a beer with a lot to offer. And compares very favorably with other similar sort of beers. I suppose one that, that comes to mind with some similar flavors would be the CBC Mandarina Bavaria IPA. Also an IPA with quite a strong bitterness. And lots of those um, orangey, nachi, citrus notes both of which are beers that I really enjoy. So I think, yeah, this is a very strong contender from the Franschhoek Beer Company, and I really like this. Now, as is customary on this channel, I always like to throw in a book recommendation for you, and what I've got for you today is a James Bond novel. It's You Only Live Twice by Ian Fleming. This was actually the very last James Bond novel published in Ian Fleming's lifetime, and uh, it's a really dark book. This is a very interesting James Bond novel, certainly not a very uh, 
typical one and nothing at all like the film that's got the same title. Um, pretty much the only thing that has in common is that it's set in Japan and James Bond disguises himself as a Japanese person. Yeah, on the page is not quite as ridiculous as when Sean Connery does it on screen. The cover of this book, um, very lovely designed by Richard Chopping, who's an artist who designed covers for many of the Ian Fleming novels and as you can probably see, this uh, cover design is pretty fundamental to the, the look and feel of this channel. Um, I'm a huge fan of those Richard Chopping covers for the James Bond books and um, this is certainly one of my favourite James Bond novels and uh, highly recommend it. It's also rumoured at the moment that this book might form the basis for the next James Bond movie which will be Daniel Craig's uh, last James Bond film and would be a int very interesting way for him to sign off uh, from the role of James Bond. So let me just uh, pour some more beer into my glass here. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. Uh, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and also come and follow me on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, also untappedratebeer.com. There's loads more beer reviews on there. Uh, all the details are in the description below. So if you've tried this beer, let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Also feel free to suggest beers that you'd like to see covered on the channel. I'm always uh, very open to suggestions. And until next time, cheers. Thank mm -hmm. you.